It all started when a group of fellas came to the door and since then I haven't been able to go home. My daughter's there, my mum's looking after her, but I'm having to stay in a hostel by myself. I have nobody to talk to. I'm so alone. My head's melted. I don't know who to go to for help. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Day in, day out, we would support individuals that are at risk from armed groups. And we would get these referrals directly from the person themselves, family members, um, external organisations, including the PSNI. We would contact representatives of these armed groups and we would advocate on behalf of these individuals. Threats to these individuals cause a ser serious detrimental impact to their emotional, physical and mental well-being. It can cause stress and break down family relationships. It can cause fear in the community and it can cause individuals to be socially isolated. So, hello, how can I help you? Um, one of the teachers at um, St John's suggested that we, we come in and uh, talk to you this morning. Okay, so what, what happened? I was minding, this is my son, Daniel. Um, hello, I was minding. Daniel. His daughter Sophie last night, and we were just sitting watching the TV. And the next thing, there was a great big bang at the door, uh, frightened the life out of me. And I looked out the window, and there was men there in the scarves and masks and stuff. And they were shouting, they were coming for Daniel. Right, okay, okay. Um, look, did you notice that any of them have any weapons or anything? Did they use any name or anything like that? Or did they say who they were? Um, Names, I, I, I don't know. Um, they were shouting. I was just so taken aback. I, um, I didn't see any weapons, but one of them actually had his, his hand in his pocket all the time. Okay, okay. Did you recognise any of them? Did you recognise any of them, Daniel? I wasn't there. I, I wasn't on. Okay, okay. No. No? Okay. Um, did they say why they were there? What, what they were looking your son for? They used... Um, bad language and um, that he he was a drug dealer. Okay, okay. What what time did this happen at last night? It was about half ten. Did you report it to the police? Should have. I I, I, I don't know. I didn't. Um... Okay, look, listen, that's totally understandable. It's totally understandable. Don't be worrying. Um, you know, it's it's a very frightening situation. Um, so I totally understand. Um, Daniel, do you are you aware of what this is over, or has no. there been any issues before? Have you had anybody say anything to you, any run-ins with anybody lately? Nothing. Fights, anything? No, nothing. Daniel, do you promise me? Yeah. Cause see if I thought you were involved with drugs, son. Please. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Look. Um. We can, in the meantime, you know, Daniel, obviously it's probably not available for you to stay, at him to stay at your house at the minute. Um, so, I mean, what what happens next? What do we do now? Daniel, obviously we'll be advocating on your behalf and liaising with the agencies and stuff. Um, and, you know, we want to be safeguarding you and making sure that you're safe um, and make sure that your mum, you're supported at home, you know, with the granddaughter and stuff. 
Thank you. Okay, look, we'll keep you updated every step of the way. Anything at all, we're only the other end of a phone. Give us a ring. So I, I can ring you? Of course you can. Yes, yes. Okay. I'll give you all obviously. our contact details. You can stay in touch with us. Uh, Daniel will obviously be in touch with you. We'll be organising the housing and stuff. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Look, we'll keep you up to date the whole way through the process. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You. You've made me feel a lot, um, a lot safer now. Look, thank you. You're welcome. Any reassurance we can give you, certainly that's what we're here to try and help and support you. Thank you. Thank really, you. really appreciate this. We'll talk soon. Okay. We didn't know what to do, um, but my mum brought us, brought me along to CRJ, and they were able to get us help. Um, I received one-to-one -one support and my mum and my daughter received the family support and they helped us all along the way and now I'm back in employment and um, able to move back into the area and live with my family and take care of my daughter and back in employment so things are starting to look better. <laughs>